So you know what? This morning it, there was a, a spontaneous special <laughs> act, and a lot of people are requesting that oh. that act come back. So, you I know, really... it's been a little stressful, right, Carol? And so what do you do when you're stressed? <laughs> well, when I'm stressed, I, I, I always go to Jimmy, you know, and that would be Jimmy Buffett in case anyone, you know, it could have been Jimmy Hughes, but he helps on a lot of other things. But, you know, Jimmy Buffett has oh. been my number one go-to guy. And, and uh, we had to do a little change of attitude uh, with, uh, you know, not uh, getting as much money as we wanted, um, you know, this year from the state or not getting... Um, you know, the breakfast like we wanted. And so we're going to change our attitude yeah, right now. Technical difficulties this morning. We had some technical difficulties, and I am not the artist. I'm going to keep my day job as the executive director. And so when I'm done, you've got a real artist coming on named Caitlin, who's amazing. But, you know, let's, let's just let it chill for a minute. Uh, <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> CV, uh, she should be standing by, and she'll she'll do a much much better job than me and Stevie. <laughs> we talk, but you know what? Stevie's good. Well, Stevie's good, but it was me and, and Stevie. Stevie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Caitlin, <laughs> thanks for joining us. Oh my gosh! I'm so happy to be here, and I have to thank you, Jennifer. That was wonderful. so, and that was art to me. So good job. <laughs> We so, we so appreciate it. Caitlin's at work, and she's, and she's taken her, her time. time and... 
what is it? How oh, that's just, it's in Caitlin. We'll just have to oh, move to her. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> well, we're going to just turn the time over okay, okay, to take Caitlin. It. Well, we're going to just time over. Yeah, take Caitlin, go. And, and she All works right. at a... Uh, thank you guys so much for letting me be a part of this. Um, I'm going to play a few original songs and just a couple of covers. So, um, yeah, I, I know this is kind of strange. I'm just in an office at my work. Um, I work at a, a memory care facility uh, for the elderly. Um, and so they're at their lunch break and I get to be here with you. So um, I'm just going to get right down to it. Uh, this is a song I wrote called The Joke's On Us. Um, and it's the only song that I use the harmonica. So you're welcome in <laughs> advance. Here we go. Check one thing, make sure I'm not 
um, making too many delayed sounds, so make sure you keep it good. So I'm going to do uh, another song right now um, that I wrote. Uh, this is a song, um, it's kind of a sad song, but it's also a song about, about love and the simplicity of it. Um, it's called Tell Me a Lie, so I hope you like it. I hope you can hear me. I hope someone will tell me if you can't hear me. <laughs> so I'll just keep going. You're sounding, You're sounding great. great. Keep, keep going. going. Okay, thanks. Sit on this porch all night if I asked you to. If I asked you to, I know that you'd hold my hand if I wanted. We drink lemonade, watch the sun go But now I see. Sit on this porch all night if I asked you to.
Woohoo! Woo keep going. Keep going. Right. <laughs> Thank you. All right, I'm going to keep going. Let's see what I got. So uh, this is a song that I learned uh, by one of my favorite artists. Uh, her name is Brandy Carlisle. So I actually learned this song with my sister, and we performed it uh, at the Women's March a few couple months back. While I was still very, very pregnant, <laughs> which I'm not right now, thank goodness. So I can hold my guitar normally again. Anyway, this song is called Keep Your Heart Young. And uh, I don't know, I think it's a pretty relevant song for right now. So here it goes. <laughs> song that I wrote uh, a while back. I think it's kind of a fun one. I haven't played it in a while, so I'm going to share it with you today. It's called Wet Cement. <laughs> I've told 
Awesome. Thank you guys so much for letting me be here. I've got one more song, if that's okay. Yes, yes it's, it's really, really okay. okay. Keep, Keep going. going. <laughs> Thank you guys. I just want to say before I before I do this last one that I, I think Switchpoint is an amazing, amazing organization. And even though I had to work today, I was like, please let me be a part of it. I want to figure out a way to be to make music and to tell the world that you should donate to this wonderful, wonderful place that does wonderful things for a lot of people so um, with that being said <laughs> thank you again for having me my name is Caitlin Seavey and um, yeah I'm just thrilled to be on this with all of you wonderful people today I hope a lot of people are tuning in um, yeah I think it's great so um, I think I'm gonna close with a song um, called power um, it's a song that I wrote um, yeah, it's just a song about feeling I just have to say, I'm over here cheering. Sure. Yes, 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 yes. I hope she does power. I hope she does power. So thank so, yeah, you, Caitlin. Well, I'm so glad you're a fan, and I hope I don't screw <laughs> it up. <laughs> All right, so here it goes. The song's a song I wrote called Power. reaching for a place in the sky way up high and I felt the 
salty spray of the ocean in my eyes in my eyes never have I lived so much not in my heart I'm living for today Just, just oh, you are so good. Good. Thank you. And your dedication to come to us from work to get it all set up. Thank you so much. Yeah, my just, pleasure. Just so grateful and thank you for doing that song and someone did someone say, they say they would donate, donate if i will not, not sing again and you just keep singing so i think there's that <laughs> i was trying to read that i was like is that saying what i think <laughs> it, it is it, is. it, it was being creative but i don't support that decision <laughs> <laughs> well thank you well, again thank you caitlin again, for caitlin being with us and you know what you know what now we're going to go to another uh video that um be the again be the switch point, uh, and you'll you'll see those courageous, beautiful faces that we get to serve every day. So we we'll started out explaining what stigma is, which is what being labeled. Being labeled. Who was the first one that called you a drug addict or a low life? How did that make you feel? So I'm put down, not really like everybody else. I had lived on the streets for over two years, eating out of trash cans, living in cardboard boxes. There's two ways that these labels affect people. And I had convinced myself that I was worthless, that I would never amount to anything, that I was just a low life. I've been where you're at. I've had these labels put on me. I've put these labels on myself. I was, I was a good kid. I saw the kindness in my heart and service I was of. Uh, the, the leader I was when I played sports, the leader I was when I went scouts. On a count of three, champions. One, and I'd lost that. Champions. 
I lost belief in myself. I, I just fully believed that I was not worth anything. I was, I was just a deadbeat. Happiness or success or a home or anything was just, it was, it was so far from me. I might as well have rode a 10 speed to the moon. The narrative around homelessness, addiction, mental health kept me at a distance from myself. I really felt like I deserved to be where I was at. So this one will be used to coat the insides of our pans. Without switch point, I'd have never survived. It works. There's five people in my job that succeed now as a result of the foundation laid by switch point. I left switch point not feeling ashamed of the situation we were in. We built it up as a family. We needed to do it for ourselves, but we wouldn't have done it by ourselves. Switchpoint's vision is to find a way to create communities that everybody belongs in, you know, that they feel that they're a part of. What are we doing as a community, as a society, to say, you were dealt the bad cards. How can we help you live somewhere safe, decent, and affordable? Every one of us, when we look back on our lives, will recognize seemingly small but pivotal moments that set us on a new path. One that led to the life we lead today. A switch point. Gathered around every switch point, we find the people who made it possible. People who were there in that moment with us due to switch points of their own. A vast interconnected web of life. At the Switch Point Community Resource Center, the residents of Southern Utah unite to empower individuals and families who are facing homelessness and other challenges to shift onto the track that will lead to their best life. Poverty and homelessness impact all of us. It affects the health and well being of our community. While these may seem like daunting challenges, facilitating positive change in even one life will ripple out and better our world. This is your chance. This is your moment. Be the switch point. Switch Point Community Resource Center. Changing the face of poverty. Hey, be the switch point. We were getting close, you know, to poking that button, but anyways. <laughs> we, we got this. <laughs> so seriously, um, you know, we all have those moments in our lives where something happens and it, it does, it sets us on a new path. Yeah. And I said it before, I'm going to say it again. You with us, we can be the switch point for so many people, but we need more money. But I do need to let you know, I got a little note. We're up $500 since Carol sang and Caitlin. So oh, someone not... did offer to pay if I'd stop singing. So <laughs> I'll, I'll promise. So they, they must have. They um, must have donated, so I'll shut up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so please, again, uh, in whatever way you can, if, if you want to write a great big check and mail it in, you can do that too. The address is all over the website. Um, you can use the Venmo, but we prefer you go to switchpointcrc.org. And like us, share us. Let's, let's get this to somebody that has a gajillion dollars that's going to get yeah, us through this Yeah, I like the word price. gajillion. gajillion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'd like to be able to budget with a gajillion. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, think what we could do. Holy moly. Yeah. Alrighty, so we are so excited to bring up um, oh, an yeah, extremely we have one. talented Art. young young artist. Yeah. Um, Hi, Art. Well, you're not that young, huh, Art? Hello. Hello. Can Hi. You hear me? <laughs> can you hear yes, me okay? yes, we can hear you now. We, we, can, we can hear you now. Can you hear us? Oh, okay. There I am. Oh, good. I can see myself before. I can hear you guys just fine. Thanks. Perfect. Perfect. Hey, Art, um, tell us a little bit about yourself and where people can uh, get in touch with you. And, and why, why are you here today? What, what brought you here to us today, Art? Um, my buddy Steve actually invited me to come and uh, Steve and stay. And he told me about your guys' charity and it sounded like a good cause. So I thought it'd be fun to uh, join in the fun. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks so much. Well, hey, I'm going to, we're going to turn the time over to Art and stick around for him and enjoy. He's, he's, uh, you're going to love his sound. Oh, I can't wait. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's all you, Art. Thank you. But yeah, my name is Art Cowles. I'm a local musician here in St. George. And so I'm going to play a couple songs, uh, of my own and, uh, hope you like it and enjoy and, um, be sure to donate about the good cause. 
This song is called When I'm With You. If I had a moment that I could keep in my heart, I'd choose when we were together because we're better together. If I could be with you every day and all night, you know I'd do it forever. All kinds of weather, but I know I'll leave you and go far away. And even so, you know, I wish I could stay. And I don't know yet if this love is true. But nothing feels better. When I'm with you I wake in the morning With you still on my mind The touch of your skin you treat me so kind And then in the evening When I lay down to rest I think of all that we've been through And I know you're the best The best that I ever Ever felt in my life when we were together Because we're better together But I know I'll leave you and go far away And even so, you know, I wish I could stay And I don't know yet if this love is true feels better when I'm with you Awesome. Thank you, Switchpoint, for having me. Thanks, Annette. I appreciate it. This next song is one called Sunsets. And uh, my favorite part about St. George is the sunsets here. And I think, just thinking about it right now, it's nice that even if things are pretty stressful or worried, um, it's little things that can help us feel better. And I know the switch point is helping a lot of people, so any donations you guys can make, I think they'd really appreciate it. This song is called Sunsets. Enjoy. You feel 
the steering wheel by the shore. The home's almost always warm in the rain. Sunsets out here, they don't look quite the same. Like a tide breathing out, pushing in with the water. And I wonder how much I'll turn out to be like my father. Open the windows and breathe in a taste of the rain. But the sun sets out here, they don't look quite the same. Just fine. Forget me as soon as I'm gone. I'm gonna need some time, and I hope that it won't take too long. September And we told each other we both like to stay there forever Remember our arms intertwined we wouldn't let go Lying so close we could feel both hearts beating slow Just fine Forget me as soon as I'm gone I'm gonna need some time And I hope that it won't take too long To forget about the time you were mine Like it's only a dream And the sunsets these days aren't as good As they seem Sunsets back then made me think it could always remain Thank you, Karen. I'm glad you liked the song. All of my songs that I'm playing right now are on Spotify and Apple Music, so if you want to hear them again, you can just look me up on one of those. Mm, I wish I had more time. This next song is called Letter to Send, and it's my most popular song online right now, so I felt uh, like you guys might like this one. Thanks, Karen. Just say that I love you, and I 
I know in the end I'll know just the same I know I'll need you But I can't pretend I'll be just fine on my own this letter I wish I could send Tells just how I feel for you You, you captivate my mind And I can't escape I just keep thinking of you you, you are my world, and you can rest assured, I'll always be here for you, but I can't pretend, I'll be just fine on my own. This letter I wish I could send Tells just how I feel For you It's really been lonely And I won't be happy with anyone else And I need you to tell me Do you love me the same way that I love you? Art, can you do one more? I would love to do one more. Oh, thank, thank you for you asking. Thank you so much. All right. This is a new song. I, uh, I have one album out right now and a couple singles, and I'm recording my second album currently, which, given the state of things, is a perfect time to do it. But uh, this song is called Mirrors. It's going to be on the next one. And so that'll be out pretty soon. Too much time to take it easy Not enough for moving slow Not forgetting what I'm needing It's only I don't want to know I'm apprehensive that you'll hold me in your arms Cause I don't wanna bother no one And disappear She told me no more wasting mirrors I told her sometimes I feel lost She said it's so Don't forget how much it costs to disappear. Now what do you do when you feel like you're still raining? 
Everything you see is dry And your old friends are wondering Since that you've gone But you've always been this way And you don't know why I'm apprehensive that you'll hold me in your arms Cause I don't wanna bother no one And disappear She told me no more wasted mirrors I told her sometimes I feel lost She said it's alright if you feel it Don't forget how much it costs to disappear. And then sometimes it seems the snow is all around. And you feel like you could drown or disappear. You don't Don't forget how much it costs to disappear. To disappear. To disappear. was so good wow charlie i mean not charlie <laughs> art she meant art it's okay i, I got a charlie I face what can i say right <laughs> no you don't we were just talking about it charlie we're, yeah anyways but no thank you you were amazing i love that last one is is a good beat yeah it, that's that's got some uh, spunk well awesome thank you very much yeah i appreciate it so thanks so much for joining us art uh it, it really does mean a lot to have you here and now uh we're gonna go on tour we're gonna oh. head over to switch point kristen over at switch point do a she's tour gonna, she's gonna take uh, us on a little tour hour okay it's not three hours it's no three just, just a few minutes three minute right. tour and it's kristen Hello again, this is Kristen over at Switchpoint, and we are in our intake office where all of the magic happens. We have so many different clients from all walks of life that come through our doors. Um, up here we have our shelter manager area, we've got our case management team. Um, every single person that comes through our doors has a different story to tell. Um, you might want to think about it a little bit like an emergency room where you've got different people who have different things happening and they all need to get to the, the doctor or to get to the, the front desk all at one time. Unfortunately, we can't help everybody that comes through our doors. However, we are able to assess the different needs of every individual. And we do this through a nationally recognized tool called a VICE-BIDAT or a vulnerability index. And that vulnerability index allows case management and the rest of our team here at Switchpoint to recognize and evaluate what's happening in that client's life. Every single client that comes to Switchpoint is assigned a case manager and they meet with that case manager once a week, if not more often, to work together on an action plan designed especially for that client. One of those clients that actually came to us a few years ago was a very sweet man, um, bless his heart, he only had one tooth in his head. His nickname was Smiley because he just constantly was smiling all the time. He was a very hard worker, and after coming to us for a while, he not only had one part-time job, but he ended up picking up two part-time jobs, which earned him a bicycle through our Switchbox program. Well, pretty soon he was back and forth on the road to those two part-time jobs, riding that bike, and had earned enough money that he'd saved up for a deposit, and we were able to get him into housing. Um, he would come back every once in a while, and go to our food pantry and just happy and energetic, always positive, which was something very wonderful from Smiley. Pretty soon there was a community Facebook contest that came out 
offering a new smile. And at that time, I knew that Smiley needed to have this new smile. And so I sat down with Smiley because I was not his case manager at the time. And I asked him, I said, what was it that brought you to Switchpoint? Why was it that you were homeless with us for that time? And Smiley told me about the fact when he was able to um, work with his parents on the farm, but at that time on his farm, his dad passed away, had a heart attack. And so he worked with his mother to make sure that everything on their family farm was good and running smoothly. Unfortunately, his mother ended up with dementia and she had to come down to St. George and be placed into a care center. Well, Smiley followed her down um, and visited her daily in that care center until she passed away. Unfortunately, all of the family's money ended up being used with that care center. And so he relayed to me the story that he paid or sold his truck in order to pay for his mother's funeral. And that's why he was with us at Switchpoint at that time. Well, I had to enter that into the contest and uh, through Facebook and through the local dentist that was here in St. George. He didn't win the contest, but the dentist was so impressed with his, his happiness, his willingness to work hard, that he actually gave him a new smile. He, he worked with him to get him dentures and pretty soon Smiley really was Smiley. We, we talk with him back and forth very often. He comes into contact um, with the staff here and it's always good to see him. And we love to hear stories more about Smiley. But it's the community that really helped him because we can only lift an individual so much before the community needs to step in and help us continue to lift and support those individuals who really do need our help long term. Okay. I'm Sherry Dominguez. I'm a licensed clinical social worker here at Switchpoint, and I'm the case manager supervisor. So I had a client come in last week who was a former resident who used to live here at Switchpoint um, about two years ago. And when he came up to the desk, he was making a donation to give back to the thrift store. And he said, Sherry, I just wanted to tell you that those words rang true and that I'm now a lighthouse. And I didn't even recall what he was talking about. And so I asked and he said, two years ago when we were in your office, you had told me to be more of a lighthouse and to be a positive influence instead of a light, a lifeboat. And a lifeboat, what I was referring to was him taking on other people's problems. And when we take on other people's problems, sometimes we drown and we can't save ourselves. I was uh, divorced in early 2018 and was living on the street. I am no longer living on the street, but I am still on the edge of poverty. The soup kitchen helps us stay off of the street. And it's not necessarily for just homeless, I'm sorry. It's for anyone who needs a meal. It's definitely an amazing experience to kind of see all these different people that are coming together and the community, seeing the community become better because of it. It's brought me so much experience and love for these people and I can't tell you how much it's changed my life. You see different people come in each day and you don't know what they're going through but it's taught me to be a friend to them. But we're getting more and more people. Now yesterday, they had 91. That's an awful lot. And you know, some of them come back two or three times, but that's probably the only meal they have all day. I was able to get regular meals Monday through Friday, and the soup kitchen literally saved my life. So, Great tour. Nice tour. Yeah. Way to go, Kristen. She's the best. Yeah. You know what? Hey, we've and got... her hair looks great. <laughs> Always. So, you know, we still have a, a lot of music coming for you. Um, we got Amanda Barrick coming up. and uh, In I'm fact, gonna... she's here in studio. She's here in studio with us. In our apartment studio. She, she's live <laughs> with us. Um, 
And we also have some more client stories and another one more tour, tour. another mm-hmm. one more tour a little of our later. Garden and so, uh, Ben Biscuits, yeah. yeah. So, so stay with us. And now I want to welcome to the studio live Miss Amanda Berry. She happens to be my absolute favorite artist. Um, I've been trying to get her to get her music out there for 20 years, and guess what? It's happening. Thanks, um, Amanda is getting ready to drop her debut album, so watch for that. And yeah, it looks like we have her name and her contact information there. Um, so, Amanda, let's. Thank you. Yeah, I was going to say, let's move these can real we, quick. Can we? Because, well, yeah, we can move it, right? Or, or let's yeah. leave that. Yeah. Can we? Oh, I'm just well, going to move it a right? little. Okay. So I don't trip over it. Is that okay? Tell me, yeah. can, you, can you hear? Can I can hear you. Here? Yeah. All right. I'm going to stay in for this one a little bit. Nice. Okay. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, mother. It'll be all right. And don't worry, sister, say your prayers and sleep tight, and it'll be fine. Lover of mine, it'll be just fine. And lend our voices only to sounds of freedom. And no longer lend your strength to that which you wish to be free from. Fill us with love and bravery, and you shall lead a life uncommon. Well, I've heard your anguish, and I've heard your hearts cry out. We are tired, we are weary, but we aren't worn out. And set down your chains till only faith remains. Set down your chains and lend our voices only. The sounds of freedom And no longer lend your strength To that which you wish to be free from Fill lives with love and bravery And you shall lead A life uncommon There are plenty of people who pray for peace but if praying were enough it would have come to be let your words enslave no one and the heavens will hush themselves to hear our voices ring out clear with sounds of freedom with sounds of Move out of the way There is a new army coming And we are armed with kindness And to live Here's the line We must give To live And lend our voices only to sounds of freedom. And no longer lend your strength to that which you wish to be free from. Fill us with love and bravery, and you shall leave. And our voices only to 
to sounds of freedom and no longer lend your strength to that which you wish to be free from fill lives with love and bravery and you shall lead a life uncommon Wow. Hey, thanks, Mama. We, that was kind of impromptu. Thanks for letting me be in oh, part of it. I love it when you sing and cry with me. <laughs> all right, now it's all you. Yes. Okay. I can't get out that way. Oh, I know. Come this way. Come this way. <laughs> I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the trap. studio. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and sing this um, one. Yeah, let's try this one. Okay, here we go. You got it. There it is. A little, maybe a little better. Well, I got the call today. I didn't want to hear, but I knew that it would come. An old true friend of ours was talking on the phone She said you found someone And I thought of all the bad luck All the struggles we went through How I lost me And you lost you What are all these voices Outside love's open door that make us throw off our contentment and beg for something more. I am learning to live without you now, but I miss you, babe. The more I know, the less I understand all the things I thought I knew. I'm learning again I've been trying to get down To the heart of the matter But my will gets weak And my thoughts seem to scatter But I think it's about Forgiveness Forgiveness Even if, even if You don't love me anymore These times are so uncertain There's a yearning undefined And people filled with rage We all need a little tenderness How can love survive In such a graceless age? And all the trust and self-assurance That leads to happiness Are the very things that we kill, I guess Pride and competition Cannot fill these empty arms And the work they put between us You know it doesn't keep me warm I am learning to live without you now But I miss you, babe The more I know the less I understand all the things I thought I knew I'm learning again I've been trying to get down to the heart of the matter But my will gets weak And my friends seem to scatter But I think it's about forgiveness Forgiveness Even if, even if you don't love me there are people in your life who come and come You know they let you down You know they hurt your pride You gotta let it all go, baby Cause life goes on You keep carrying that anger It'll eat you up inside I've been trying to get down 
to the heart of the matter, but my will gets weak. And my thoughts seem to scatter, but I think it's about forgiveness. Forgiveness, even if, even if you don't love me. Forgiveness, 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 even if, even if you don't love me anymore. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, oh man i haven't sung that one in a while you forget the message is so powerful but i couldn't be more grateful to be here with you guys today so thank you for having me i love switch point switch point runs in our blood as a family my mom my sister my love all the uh, massive parts of the organization my other love volunteer <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, um, please give what you can in any ways that you can. That's kind of the theme these days, right? We've got to come together because we're all a little bit terrified, but we got this. Oh yeah, let's let's walk. It. Here we go. Oh, I gotta put this back on for this. There we go. <laughs> let's try it again. We're gonna practice. Been a bit. We haven't been we playing out. Hey. This here that ice cold, Michelle fight for that white gold. This one's for them good girls, them hood girls, straight masterpiece, styling, wildin', living it up in the city. I got chills on with Saint Laurent. I gotta kiss myself, I'm so pretty. I'm too hot, hot damn. Call the police and the fireman. I'm too hot, hot damn. Make a dragon want to retire, man. I'm too hot, hot damn. Say my name, you know who I am. I'm too hot, hot damn. I'm a band about damn money breakdown. Girls hit your hallelujah. Girls hit your hallelujah. Girls hit your hallelujah. Cause uptown funk gon' give it to you. Cause uptown funk gon' give it to you. Cause uptown funk gon' give it to you. Saturday night and we in the spot. Don't believe me, just watch. Take it, pops. Hey. Don't believe me, just watch. Yeah. All right. Hey, hey, stop. Uh, wait a minute. Fill my cup, put some liquor in it. Take a sip, sign a check. Julio, get the stretch, and we ride to Harlem, Hollywood, Jackson, Mississippi. We're gonna show up, we're gonna show up. Smoother than a fresh jar, skip it. I'm too hot, hot damn. Call the police and the fireman. I'm too hot, hot damn. Make a dragon want to retire, man. I'm too hot, hot damn. Say my name, you know who I am. I'm too hot, hot damn. Cause I'm a band about damn money, break it down. Girls, hit your hallelujah. Girls, hit your hallelujah. Girls, hit your hallelujah. Cause I'm town funk, gon' give it to ya. Cause uptown funk gon' give it to ya Cause uptown funk gon' give it to ya Saturday night and we in the spot Don't believe me, just watch Alright Normally This is where we would all do something like Dance, jump on it If you sexy, then flown it If you freaky, then own it Don't brag about it, come show me But today, we're not gonna dance you're gonna pull out whatever you can and you're gonna give it to switch point so today you're gonna give like you got it to give you got to give like you got it to give and if you can't give then you got to share this content share this content here we go that's the end <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. All right. It's all about Switchpoint today. So now you. Now me. Okay. 
Where are we? Do I have one or two? It'll decide what I want to do. Take two. Okay. Do you need the capo? Um, I do need the capo. And you're down a full step? Yeah. Okay. Cool. And this might be a little, if you want to... I swear these just throw me off. I wish I, could. I, wish I was a better <laughs> musician. Okay. I wish I was better at all of this. But that's why I have to try. Okay. Um, yeah, as Linda mentioned, my name is Amanda Barrick, and I'm about to drop an album. And this is one of the songs on that album. This is a song I wrote many years ago about the first person I ever loved. It's called Summer Solstice. Well, how can you come here and look at me that way? And I never know just what to say. But my heart is longing to hold you And my mind will keep you there And in the absence of everything that you ever wanted Well, I was playing my guitar And sometimes I wonder Just how many songs it's gonna take To clear the air Oh, cause blame is much too messy And regret, it's hard to hold So we left them in our letters With words untold So keep yourself And I'll keep mine And we'll meet up left of the middle In the summertime Yes, keep yourself And keep it well Cause letting go makes sense this time <laughs> And the purpose of life is to live To live we must be aware Joyously and drunkenly and serenely aware And I believe in goodness And I believe in hope And I believe in Joyous and I believe that a love can save this world And I believe that a love will find me again So keep yourself and I'll keep mine And we'll meet up left of the middle in the summertime Yes, keep yourself and keep it well Cause letting go makes sense this time But how can you come here And look at me that way And I never know Just what to say But my heart Is longing to hold you And my mind Will keep you there so keep yourself and I'll keep mine And we'll meet up left of the middle in the summertime Yes, keep yourself and keep it well Cause letting go makes sense this time oh, wow. nice to be Yeah, I know, you guys are funny <laughs> I love ya uh, So one more? All right, I'm gonna do this one for mom. It's not an original, but I love this one for her. And for our community, because we've got to come together. So this is for my mom. It's a Serena Ryder song, um, What I Wouldn't Do. Oh, yeah. And I think that's right. If you should fall to pieces, you know I'll pick them up. There are so many reasons I'm never gonna get enough. If you should leave this country, you know I'll come to you. Because you've always loved me, 
Oh, what I wouldn't do. Oh, what I wouldn't do. Well, I'll carry the weight. Yes, I'll do anything for you. My bones may break, but I will never be untrue. Whoa, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, oh, oh, whoa. Whoa, oh, oh, wow. Oh, what I wouldn't do. Oh, what I wouldn't do. Your love is like an ocean that always brings me home. Whispering wind is blowing, telling me I'm not alone. Your love is like a river. That I am floating down I've never been a swimmer But I know that I'll never drown I know I'll never drown The current grows stronger Under different shades of blue I've fallen in your waters Forgetting everything I knew Whoa, oh, oh, wow Whoa, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, what I wouldn't do, oh, what I wouldn't do, well, I'll carry the weight, yes, I'll do anything for you, my bones may break, but I will never be untrue, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, Whoa, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, what I wouldn't do, oh, what I wouldn't do. Woo! I love you guys so much. Please do what you can to help support Switchpoint, and, uh, yeah, we'll get through this together. Okay. Mwah! In life, you need to compete in order to keep yourself healthy. I mean, if we didn't want to win in life, what would we do? And so we started a softball team. They respect and love each other enough to get together and give them a chance to do something outside of using, outside of drinking, outside of sitting home and doing nothing. You don't necessarily have to be an addict or an alcoholic to come play. You just have to be somebody who wants, you know, change, I guess you'd say. It's, it's not easy to go back to the past. I was raised LDS, and I went all the way through my teen years never drinking. When football ended, I really didn't have that outlet. I enjoyed showing up to a team in an effort. That was my thrill, and I was gonna go into service, but I had asthma and I was allowed to join. And I didn't know how to deal with it. That summer, my friends that I played football with got their own place. And the night I moved in, I, I kinda knew better. They were drinking, they had a, a nitrous oxide tank, and I felt I had to be the life of the party. I guess I wanted that acceptance. On count of three, champions. One, two, three. Champions! It was a matter of time for the heavier drugs came out. I was homeless, living on the streets uh, around the summer of 2014. My mom had just died, and I actually walked up one night on the hill and I was done. I was going to jump off and end my life. I just fully believed that I was not worth anything. I felt insufficient. I felt like I wasn't a dad. I felt like I wasn't doing my part. The cops pulled up and checked on me. I had a warrant and I was arrested. Unfortunately, I was used to incarceration. But there was something different. I knew I'm either done or I'm dead. So I decided to make a change and I was going to change everything about myself. When you get out, you have nothing. And if you can't get your basic core needs, then you can't even move forward in a day. It was the switch point that saved me. They gave me a place to stay, they gave me food to eat, and they gave me transportation by a bus. And they gave me people who, when I didn't know what to do, they took the time to show me. And it wasn't easy. I'm not gonna ever say that switch point was the easiest thing I ever adapted into, but at the same time, switch point gave me the structure I needed. 
so I could focus on getting the foundation for myself to create the independence I want to have so that I feel like I'm of self-worth. I feel like I'm doing my part, like I'm a human being again. And if you want that, if you want to change your life, they'll give you everything you need in order to start the steps forward back into society. When I started, I didn't have a birth certificate. I didn't have a driver's license. And I didn't have a social security card. They helped me figure that out in 10 minutes. Here's your answers. They got me clothes, so I go interview for jobs. The work success program gave me one of the sharpest of resumes I ever had. <laughs> but then I walked in to Carpets Plus, and that's when I met my boss, Joe Gibbons. Within two minutes, he hired me and changed my life. Because no one had to give me a chance, and Joe did. All right, thank you. Nobody goes down the road and sees someone walking by homeless and goes, oh yeah, I'm glad you're there. There's somewhere they're stuck at that they don't know the answer to. And if it takes one step in order to change someone's life, why not help them? And not why should you, why wouldn't you? Switch point works. I'm, I'm not alone. There's, there's five people at my job that succeed now as a result of the foundation laid by Switch Point. It's a game changer. And thanks to the community, we have that asset. But if we don't help, it won't be there in the future. I used to run off and avoid life, and now I don't. I love myself too much. I love my kids too much. And to the day I die, you know, I'll always give it back to Switchpoint because they were the start. It was time to live. And I've been living ever since. I love Aaron and I love his story. This has been really powerful for me today just to watch everything all over again and yeah. and see our clients and their successes. And I hope you guys are getting uh, as much out of it as I am. Thank you. Thank you for joining us uh, today. Um, thank you to Amanda Barrick and, and her amazing voice and talent. And Steve and Linda, you got in there too. You know, okay, fine. <laughs> They're way better than me at entertaining. But um, we have uh, an exciting uh, next artist up, Charlie. Charlie's in our, our green room, if you will, you in the green box. <laughs> hi, Charlie. Good. Hi. How are you, Dad? Can how you hear you us? Doing? We're doing great. You ready to take it away? Yeah, of course. Um, so I'm going to do something a little different um, today. I thought I was going to, um, when I was thinking about what I was going to play for this, I was thinking about doing a whole bunch of looping stuff. Um, but I've been doing a whole bunch of looping the last bit, and so I kind of leaned in and decided to play some songs um, that are more from where I came from, my background of um, just playing a little acoustic guitar, so I'm going to do some singer-songwriter stuff. Um, Can I just say that I'm so, songs, um, I'm so thrilled to hear that, Charlie, that really because I love your acoustic stuff. Thanks. I yeah, appreciate that. so I'm, I'm thrilled we get to, to see Charlie. The real Charlie. The, you know, just <laughs> that, that you. Okay, hey, thank you. Uh, so awesome. take it away. Yeah. So these are some songs that um, make me feel, um, which is, I think, a really important part about the empathetic process and everything that's going on today. So if you're watching and you feel it, please drop some money. Switch Point's an incredible resource that we have. Um, I worked in counseling in St. George for eight years, and it's such an important leg of the process for people who are on their journey. So please drop some money if you have it. Stable song by Gregory Allen Isaac. Remember when the songs were just like prayers, like gospel hymns that you call in the air. Come down, come down, sweet reverence, unto my simple.
And I dragged you straight in the muddy ground And you took me back to where I roamed Well, I cursed and I cried, oh, but now I know Oh, now I know And I ran back to that hollow again Where the moon was just a slip of back So, so this um, this next song that I'm gonna play again, um, this is a song that's actually in Italian, um, and this song means a lot to me. I think it's it's one of those one of those songs that just has a a lot of um, energy and emotion into it. And maybe you don't speak Italian. That's that's okay. I don't speak Italian anymore. I, I used to. I could do better. Um, but all you need to know is this song is kind of um, to me a representation of like what good performance of good music is in terms of poetry. Um, it's about someone who is down on their luck and they're having a really hard time and they're waking up alone and they're walking al walking along the street alone um, and they hear music and company and um, the name of the song is um, La Compagnia, which means the company. And um, the hook to the song, which is this really beautiful melodic line, um, basically means like, um, let's see, happiness, I lost it yesterday, but today I found it again. Sadness leaves and a song takes its place, like a song takes the seat that sadness once held. So it's a really, I think it's a really beautiful sentiment. So this is La Compagnie. And um, if you're interested in the original version, this is um, by a guy named Lucio Battisti. <laughs> E poi vestito E solo uscito Solo, solo per la strada Ho camminato A lungo senza meta Finché ho sentito Cantare in 
sony e fumo per allegria io ti ringrazio So hopefully if anyone understands Italian, I didn't butcher it too badly. Um, but that's La Compagnia by um, Lucio Battisti. And this next song, um, like I said, I was just kind of searching my brain for um, songs that make me feel, and um, a lot of them are covers. Um, so this song is a song that's also really close to my heart. This song is called um, No Regrets, and it's by one of um, my most inspirational artists, um, currently playing. His name's um, Mike Love, and he's a reggae musician out of um, Honolulu, Hawaii. He's actually from Kailua. But um, this is a song that he wrote, um, I think, after his dad died. And um, it's just one of those songs that has just so many nuggets of gold just buried in the lyrics. And it's just a good song. So I um, hope you like it. The song is No Regrets by Mike Love. <laughs> Nothing bad, and if 
let your suffering remember it won't last. Get over it fast. Get back to living. Just a test. I will remember. I will remember this life ain't over yet. So please remember not to forget a newborn baby's cry. The very first tears. They are so. So that's um, that's No Regrets by Mike Love. Um, do I have time for one more? You sure do. Give us one more. Um, yeah, this next song is one that I, I kind of rarely play anymore. Um, this is a cover song that came out like, I mean, I don't know, maybe this was in the last five years. But this song has always um, made me feel more of a soundscape but um it's it's called berlin it's by a band called ryx um, and uh, it, it just makes me feel a lot the the melody and the harmony and just like the space that's in it so hope you enjoy it <laughs> Oh. 
Tell me I'm not going home And I'll stop waiting by that phone Child of the sun and the stars I Shout of the sun and the stars I Thanks again. Oh, that's beautiful. Loved it. Thanks so much, Charlie. Again, thanks for going just raw, beautiful you, acoustic, barefoot you. Yeah, I was just saying, gosh, he's in his bare feet. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> it that, Thanks, that was guys. Just I appreciate it. Really Everybody beautiful. donate money to Switchpoint. Super important. It Help is. the community out.
Thanks, Thanks Charlie. Charlie. Thank you Thank so you guys, much. Lady. Have a good afternoon. We're going to take one more tour. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're heading back out to Kristen. Yeah, we're going to go to the garden and to B&B. &B, so let's hit it. Here she comes. Hello. This is Kristen over at Switchpoint, and we are here in our backyard garden, our community garden. This garden was made possible by many different community members, one of which was a grant to get it started through Healthy Utah. This garden is a smorgasbord, you can see, of many different visions that we've had on ways to help our clients to find peace, to find a way to give back, and also to reach out to the community and help them see what it is that Switchpoint does. This garden has fruit trees, it has grapes, tomatoes, roses, all of these plants were usually dead on arrival. <laughs> we have a fantastic and amazing volunteer, Fred Bowman, also known as Dr. Dirt, who takes all of these plants and has them thrive. It's very symbolic of what we do here at Switchpoint with different clients um, based on their needs and their action plans, giving them the tools that they need um, they are able to, to grow and to produce and to be self-sufficient. One of those clients that we had um, came to us um, and most of his family had passed away. He was an older gentleman and he had a very hard time connecting with people. He would come out into our garden day after day and make things grow and weed and he loved our garden so much um, he really became connected. After he left the shelter and was able to go and find an apartment of his own, he would still come back and help us manage the garden because he loved to take care of it so much. This garden does help individuals who are needing a little bit more introspection and they're able to connect with nature and really feel that inner peace out of our garden. The other piece that's unique to Switchpoint is our dog kennels and our playground. Our dog kennels especially because a lot of times when clients come to us from the shelter or come into the shelter, they only have one family member left. And sometimes that's an animal. And that animal has seen them through thick and thin and through really terrible times. We don't want to have to ask an individual to part from that family member. And so we allow them to stay here on property if the weather is good um, in our dog kennel area. Of course, if the weather is too hot or too extreme, then we are able to house them over at our Bed and Biscuits location. And hopefully you'll tune in next time for our virtual tour of Bed and Biscuits. And I'm here at our new location of Bed and Biscuits Pet Village, just off of Dixie Downs. Bed and Biscuits is a pet daycare and boarding facility that serves two purposes for Switchpoint. First, it provides a stream of income for our emergency shelter, and second, it provides an opportunity for clients who may not be comfortable around people to build their resume through our job shadow program. Residents are able to learn skills necessary to become better and more marketable employees. Ben Biscuits is now accepting cats and as always provides grooming for your four-legged friends. Well, there we've had it. We've had a full tour of the campus. We've had so many great musicians, so many great stories. We've got one more musician, I think. Christian? Yes, yes. Christian is coming to us from up in Cedar City. He's a professor at SUU, and um, we're so grateful to have him on. But first, I'm going to go back and plug our new Bed and Biscuits Pet Vich. Oh, yes. Again, we're adding cat condos. Oh, my. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Cat condos. So uh, we've moved from off of Sunset over to Dixie Downs, just up the street from Jimmy John's yep. on Dixie Downs. So um, support us. That That's another thing you can do is just uh, our dog groomer, dog training. Facility, boarding and boarding daycare. Boarding and, yeah. and daycare. So. We've got uh, one more video to follow after Christian. After and Christian. then we're, mm -hmm. we're calling it a day until tonight. Uh, there's going to be kind of a... a open mic set thing going on but all right so christian you ready to go i'm ready to go thank you for joining us today oh you're very welcome it's an exciting and a long day yeah yes <laughs>
Yes, it has been. <laughs> we're a little loopy about now, but anyways, we're hoping that you'll pep it up here a little bit, huh? Close right, us okay. out, baby. Close us out. I'll, I'll try my best. Uh, a quick correction. I'm actually living in St. George, so I also enjoy oh. this uh, beautiful weather here. I just work up in Cedar. Oh, nice. Oh, gotcha. And could you tell us how you pronounce your last name? I butchered it earlier. Um, uh, in, in my dialect, we, I say Bohnenstengel. Um, if you so... speak, you know, high German, written German, it sounds uh, a little different, but um, yeah. Bodenstengel works. Okay. I love it. We're going to call you Christian, though. <laughs> but it's, yeah, yeah, we're excited Perfectly to hear funny. you today. Dr. B. So, cool. Dr. Dr. B. B. There, there you go, Dr. B. Yeah. Yep. All right. We're going to let you uh, close away. out the music portion for us. And, and again, right following Christian, we've got another powerful client story. So stay with us. Thanks. All right, sounds good. Um, um, uh, a pianist that I'm looking up to in Kansas City, a Dutch pianist called Bram Weinand, um, the other, well, maybe now a couple of weeks ago, he did an um, uh, online concert uh, basically doing uh, a boogie marathon. So he did a uh, boogie for one hour, and he's the most amazing stride and traditional jazz pianist you can imagine. Anyway, I thought I'll, I'll give a, a, a shot at uh, playing some boogie too. And... Um, I took a lady be good, so we'll see what happens.
attempt at a little bit of boogie piano on Lady Be Good. Um, I think I'll go on with a tune by Fats Waller called uh, Ain't Misbehavin. A little bit slower.
All right, that was, um, you all recognize probably the Turkish March by Mozart in an arrangement by a Turkish pianist called Fasil Sai. Um, I just wanted to stress again the importance of um, supporting events like these. Um, a lot of organizations utilize the spring weather to do fundraisers. And uh, obviously these days we can't do any of those fundraisers. So definitely go to switchpointcrc.org and uh, contribute whatever you can. These guys um, do an amazing job. Um, it looks like basically my time slot is up. I can play one more, maybe as a closer, something a little bit um, quieter again. And then I'll turn it over to Linda again. I would more. love that so much, Christian. I got to tell you, uh, your music is... It's exactly what I needed at the end of this very long, stressful day. So it's it's just perfect. So thank you for giving us one more. Sure, just a little bit of the energy to get you through the day. Thank you. So I think maybe I'll do Autumn Leaves, kind of a swing tune.
because autumn leaves. I think that's uh, my set. Thanks so much for having me. Oh, thank you again, Christian, for joining us and for caring and for, you know, again, being an advocate for Switchpoint and the people that we serve. It, it means so much. Um, I, again, I want to thank all of the musicians that joined us today. Steve and I were just talking uh, top notch from, from everybody. Everybody brought their A game. And so thank you, thank you, thank you, Christian. You're uh, so before welcome. We... And thank you for doing all of this. We had uh, right. quite an amazing lineup today. Yeah, we, we really did. We did. So thank you. Um, before we leave you today, uh, I want to let you know that we will be starting up again tonight. Uh, if you go to switchpoint.live, that will take you again to a live tonight. We'll be mostly musicians and then our vignettes and stories from our our clients. The And I think we're going to get the mayor back in here too. So tonight at 7 o'clock, switchpoint.live. Um, and I can't, I can't stress it enough. Like Christian said, canceling our huge event, uh, that was the bulk of our budget dollars, uh, it has, has been quite devastating. So we really, really need your help. Uh, do what you can. And one of the things you can do is share, start, you know, after this is done, even you can share and start a watch party and see if you can get us in front of the people that can, well, everybody does their part and, and all of that is so, so needed and so appreciated. Uh, but the more, more eyes we get on this, uh, I'm, I know the more help we were, will get. So we're going to close with, uh, Brian's story. It's like all of them, incredibly powerful. And then we'll see you back here tonight at seven mountain time. Thanks y'all. Appreciate you. Ethan, give me the top two on your list. Probably number one, which is a druggie. Okay. And then a low life. A low life? Yeah. My name's Brian Cundy. I've been a peer support specialist and youth and transition advocate for almost a year. It's the most rewarding job I've had. When people used to call you a drug addict, low life, worthless, how did that make you feel? Okay. A lot of the hurdles that I see with these kids is because they have no self-worth, self-esteem, they'll resort to stuffing that feeling with a substance. There's two ways that these labels affect people. When they realize that it's now become a problem instead of part of the solution, then there's even a bigger hurdle to overcome. We go ahead and start choosing the people that will support us in all of these bad labels. As a former addict, I can understand that feeling. I wanted that sense of respect and love and belonging. I didn't want to deal with the pain anymore, but I knew no other way to cope. It didn't take me very long before I was a full-blown addict. It's strange for, for me to think back on it now, but when, when I was in my addiction, I would tell myself that I was okay with eating out of trash cans, living in cardboard boxes. I had convinced myself that I was worthless. Why have you held on to all these labels that you have put on yourself for so long? They destroy you. I had lost the respect for myself, the dignity, the love. I've been where you're at. I've had these labels put on me. I've put these labels on myself. And that's kind of the point I wanted to get across to these kids, that those labels are very damaging and they can stifle any progress that we can make until we figure out you are worth more than what you're believing. If I had gotten released the last time I was in jail and not had Switchpoint, I would have gone right back to what I had done. Switchpoint said, you are going to be responsible for these things or we cannot help you. And that was a huge shift in how I saw being homeless to I'm just transitioning. And I'll do this now knowing that there's a payoff in the future. So this one will be used to coat the... It gave you a sense of pride almost to know that I can do this on my own. And if I ever have a question, I know where to go for an answer. It was empowering. You needed to do the footwork. 
and that included the chores that you did. Helping out in the kitchen, cooking, cleaning up, unloading the food truck when it came in. Those were all skills that they were teaching you, kind of under the radar basically, that you were doing something to get outside of yourself, being a part of a larger group. It was like a surrogate family. You want us to salad it up and all that? Salad and roll? The narrative around homelessness, addiction, mental health, is they're not worth putting time and effort into. And when somebody is in addiction or has mental health issues, they internalize that. That's, I think, one of the most detrimental things. I feel like I didn't have anybody that loved me. I didn't have a family that loved me. I ain't but myself. They really saved me. Turning a blind eye to it doesn't fix it. It doesn't even make it go away. We just avoid it. And I know what it's like to just avoid stuff. I did that for 20 years. You really have to be invested in order for anything to change. And I think that Switchpoint has done a fabulous job of showing that change is possible. Everything anybody does has a ripple effect. And it happens whether it's unhealthy or healthy. You will affect other people. I have a passion for what I do now. And that's why I have a career now. No matter what your maladaptive coping behavior, and that's what addiction is. I want to be that connection that's stronger than addiction until they can be a connection to others. That's what the opposite of addiction is, is connection.